What is up y'all, Scott here. Today I am out on the mountain bike trail with Mark Matthews. We are shooting the last two features on his line that we were shooting in the raw edit changing seasons. Uh, at the time of filming that video, he actually hadn't completely finished this trail, but now the last few hits are done and we're going to capture some of those for his YouTube channel and basically just be here in case anything goes sideways when he's hitting these things for the first time. Let's get into the shoot. Today's a bit of a milestone because the trail is finally done and I can test out the last two hits. The trail needed a bit of repair before we could start shooting, so we just kind of raked some things clean, cleared up some muddy spots, filled in some, some little potholes that it formed. The one broken bucket that's left here. <laughs> the end of Sharknado. We're at the end. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. Only took 50 videos to make this trail. <laughs> All right, this is attempt number one. Oh, that is soft. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, you have plenty of speed. That was intense. Look how much my tires sunk in. That's deep. That's like the really soft, like rotten tree there too. So he had a lot more speed than he needed there. He's gonna try to just hit it from the jump right above this, just to see if he can clear the step down and have a little bit more control for going into this last speed gap. That looked good. Oh that looked good. It feels so slow off it. <laughs> Man, I'm like still worried about speed for this though. It feels like I'm going too slow unless I fully just like let off the brakes and commit. It's probably one of the scariest ones. Not in the stump gap. You've said this every time <laughs> I actually. Know. <laughs> He's gonna take a few more run-ins on the step down, get comfortable there, and then decide if he wants to do this last speed gap. Part of what I'm doing right now is just trying to give him angles of his riding so that he can kind of, you know, just get that third person perspective. So right now I'm lined up at the takeoff for the speed gap looking uphill so he can see his run into that takeoff and just gauge his speed, um, see where he might be braking, all those sorts of things. Uh, just trying to help him figure out how to hit this thing safely. I have a lot of speed. Maybe I'll review your shot there. Yeah, for sure. It's gonna be really easy to land front wheel deep and it won't be smooth at all in that case, right? Like, yeah. it's pretty long and short landing. He's gonna try to do a few more and see if it if it feels like uh, he wants to actually try to hit it today or if he's gotta come back after some more building. It's not feeling safe at all. Like the whole setup. <laughs> <laughs> That's frustrating. I know. Yeah, that's it for now. <laughs> yeah. I don't want this like amazing line to end with a sketchy hit. I want like a really memorable jump that's really smooth and photogenic. And then that will give me a bit of time to really dial in that run out, clean it up a bit, and we'll have a nice, clean, really fun finish to the trail. Now we're out scouting around for another project. We were looking to do another raw video on a line that at least some of it is built um, fresh for that video. We're in the same zone that we filmed the previous raw video, but just kind of looking for different areas for something that has different types of features we can build, something that maybe has a bit more trickable features, things like that. It's just starting that creative process that will lead into a film that we will start at the end of this year. I really rely on Mark for a lot of this in terms of identifying where areas would be that are good for building, but then once we find that, kind of starting to think about creative frames, cool things that we could set up that complement the film. The spot right here is actually where I looked before even going over to Sharknado. Mm -hmm. But that one gully we found the other week, yeah, it's so open and photogenic. I know. I almost wanted to just like go in there. <laughs> I feel like it's the spot to go. I mean, we already had some ideas just pop yeah. up the first time we were in there. Yeah. All right, we did a bit of walking around. Didn't see anything that got us super stoked. We're, we're kind of in that space of both being like, wanting to get inspired about a new project but not having anything that really is getting us quite there yet and i think it's always the hardest part is starting something new committing to that new zone that you're going to build in in the case of mark in my case committing to that new video idea and putting in all that work in pre-production that makes it actually work when you're trying to shoot it so 
feeling like this is probably also just the start of the year, you know, we're, we're just getting things kicked off, thinking about lots of ideas for new projects and having some of that creative juice just maybe a little bit tapped out right now. So not gonna stress about it too much. We've got some ideas for different areas we wanna check out, potentially continuing some of Mark's other trails that we haven't fully shot yet and hope that some of those will work out to something that uh, pans out into an idea that we're both excited about. Hopefully it was interesting to follow along with our trip today. Uh, until the next video, get out there, make something beautiful, and I will see you all soon. Peace.